Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, before I get into my economic kitchen and all that sort of stuff, I found a really cool video from Vsauce that they just put out. They're talking about the money supply M0, M1, M2, and M3, and I don't know where the heck this video was a few months ago when we are talking about this sort of thing and doing tests on it. I really wish they would have came out with it sooner. Anyways, watch the video. I'll put a link in the description here and back in Blackboard. And I really wanted to talk about the black market. Not so much the black market, but in regards to international trade and guns. We're also living in Arizona in a place where we constantly have it in the news about people trading guns to Mexico. In one of the articles that you can see down in the description is that 2.2% of these guns are being traded to Mexico. Of course, illegally. So politicians and uh, leaders from both sides, the U.S. and Mexico, are highly concerned because the violence that is occurring is occurring in Mexico. And of course, they want to point the finger at the U.S. and say, hey, you guys are supplying the guns. And it might not actually be from U.S. gun suppliers, but the U.S. citizens giving that because they need money. Now, with the laws and everything that's happening right now, this gap in the inflation that we're having on these guns is creating this much room for a black market. And then when you add in the hype and presidential elections and everything, it just starts going up and up and up. So with this giant gap, I'm going to talk about the GDP. Now, this consumption rate that we have, I'm just going to give you an example of Jessica here. Jessica has an investment of $1,500. Now, I consumed $1,500 worth of goods. But if we talk about the rest of it, it's not a government purchase, even though I am a government employee. You could call it an investment because if I did trade it illegally, I invested $1,500 and my return would probably be about $5,000. So I would gain and uh, that's not really an uh, investment. That's not how we would report it. Of course, it's not an export because if we do it illegally and they transfer it, it's not going to be reported. How does this work? Where does the money go? And of course, if we think about it logically, somebody probably bought drugs. This money went to the cartel. The cartel, it floated around and it came back to me, which I will use this money to either use as disposable income or consume more or some of it will go into savings. So how does this money get reported? Where does this multiplier effect happen? Of course it doesn't happen all the time because not many things in the black market is going to be traded on an individual level. It's usually just like a business. You have one person doing all the selling and a bunch of buyers. So please let me know what you guys think about the black market, the international trade of guns. Uh, stay away from gun policy because that's not really what we're talking about here. But if you really, really have some feelings on it, post your own blog. I got my own video. Like, don't have to subscribe. I love your faces and we'll see you.